Module 2. Module 2 was all about how mind maps help improve things in the classroom and with students. So one of the great things about mind mapping is that it helps improve concentration. You'll discover how it helps the student focus better, how it is said to prime the amygdala through making new connections. Mind maps can be seen as puzzles waiting to be solved. So if a teacher or trainer gives a mind map to students at the beginning of a lesson, particularly in the pair-share scenario, two students can investigate that mind map as a puzzle and see how much of it that they can decode. So how much of the teacher's intended meaning can be decoded just by a pair of students working cooperatively through the mind map. And if students have a mind map in front of them of what is being taught at the present time, this actually has an enhancing effect on their, on their listening and their overall concentration. So first point, mind maps can help improve students' concentration. And I just want to emphasize that it can improve their listening as I have just said. Now, mind mapping also improves reading, and it can do this in a variety of, of ways. I mean, if, for example, we take a book which is often in school curriculums, certainly in the UK, is Animal Farm. You take a book like that, and you provide the students with a mind map that outlines the key scenes or the key characters in that book what you are doing with them is setting the scene you are whetting their appetite to actually read the book and this will then also when they do start reading will improve their focus they're actually looking for this material within the the, the book that that they're reading so it improves their focus and it improves their intrinsic motivation you'll find that giving the students a mind map summary of a book will increase their intrinsic motivation because of what I've already mentioned is that you whet their appetite to want to know more. And um, also, if there is a choice in a curriculum of several books which can be read for a particular module within the, the, the teaching scenario, is that it becomes much easier for them to decide which book they would like to read out of several books, simply by having the overview mind map to whet their appetite for reading. And then post-reading, mind map is a great way to recall what's been read. So by students creating their own mind maps as they read a book, is overviewing what they're doing, but provides them with a, a whole network of trigger words arranged hierarchically, which helps them to recall what it is that they've read. And mind mapping was originally devised as a study tool by Tony Bazan. So it really actually comes into its element in this post-reading aspect. So it's great for whetting the appetite before they read, it's great for keeping their motivation whilst they're reading, and it's great for them to create their own mind maps of what they've read in order to help them recall the book that they've been reading. And of course, this is excellent for them recalling stuff in examinations. Now, mind mapping also improves writing in several different ways. One is it makes it much easier for them to, to emulate excellence. Um, another one is that it improves writing organisation and also the organisational construction of sentences and of paragraphs. And it's much easier to write, particularly from the planning aspect of writing, when you have a non-linear approach. So when people are planning their writing with a, a mind map, they don't have to start at the beginning and work through to the end. They can start in the middle if they want and then do the end and then do the beginning. So mind maps provide much more flexibility with writing and it taps into the tessellation, the tessellating 
uh, as in the book uh, The Pyramid Principle, we can organise sentences um, hierarchically and we can organise our whole writing hierarchically. And I do provide some additional resources that you can print out that go into some detail about how mind maps improve writing. Next, there is absolutely no doubt that mind maps used regularly in the classroom improve students' speaking ability. A mind map can improve confidence, self-esteem, clarity in the way that students speak, and helps them to tap into their natural speaking ability. So instead of them always trying to speak like somebody else, a mind map helps them to, to speak naturally. There is also this thing about when we write stuff down and when we speak, we read from what we've written, is that there is a difference between the spoken word and the written word. And mind mapping is a great bridge there because it only has keywords interlinked together is that because not everything is laid down in terms of what to say, this brings out the student's own natural characteristics and their own natural personality when they speak from a mind map. And finally, a couple of things. Mind map improve memory and recall. And mind maps, as we've said in module one, begins to improve a student's thinking skills.